today. Today we're going to do lesson plan number nine, term two, grade five. Um, and the topic is collection of objects. Um, this is your link to the caps. Um, then we're going to have a look at the resources. Um, we also give you a maths challenge. Remember, we add a lot of these activities so we can create a love for mathematics. Um, and then we're going to look at our dictionary. Now, um, I'm giving you these two examples. Now, this might be the example that we're familiar with, um, where we said half of six, and then we say half, and the teacher said of becomes uh, a time symbol or multiplication symbol, six over one. Um, and probably most of us couldn't even remember or what it meant. Um, so, and then we said one times six, divided by 2 equals 3, so a half of 6 equals to 2. Um, this abstract level, we will come later to it, but the most important part is that we still work with diagrams. This is also what they say and recommend in the curriculum, is that what is a quarter of 16? So what we want the learners to see is 16, yeah, here in this case, I made use of 16 counters, and then simply just what is a quarter of that? So we divide it by four, and we see, see then a quarter of 16 is four. I want you to pause and quickly go through this activity or this example. Okay, let's quickly go to the activity to date. So we're going to focus on two and nine times tables. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to pause and the learner is going to do it orally or they can write down the answers. It's time to pause. Okay, so welcome back. I'm going to reveal the answers. So you can take the answers and then you're going to mark it. It's time to pause. So we're going to look at the introduction now. So the introduction, we're going to look at what we've done in grade four. So it's just a revision part. So we're going to say divide 12 suites amongst three learners. So um, we show them these pictures. So we got those three learners. We got the 12 suites and it's then divided um, between them. So then we're going to ask what fraction did each of them get? So each of them got a third of the sweets. And then how much sweets did each learner get? So each got four. I want you to pause here. Do this activity again. And then I want you to do the second activity. Okay, welcome back. So I'm first going to focus on example number one and two. So now what we want the learners to do is to create this image in their mind. So what we've done there in the introduction, we're going to take it to the next step. So we're going to ask, if we divide 12 suites amongst three learners, each one gets four suites. This means that each learner gets one third. So one third of 12 suites equals to four. How will we write this as a number sentence? Yes, one third of 12 equals to four. Can you see now we worked from what we have to the number sentence? A lot of times what we do is we give them the number sentence and we just want them to calculate it. Or we just say one third of 12 and we want the answer. So what we do now is we make use of a real life practical example. We work through it. Remember here again, if you still need to make a drawing, it's fine. And then we come to the number sentence. I want you to pause now, go through example one again, and then do example number two as well. With example three, I want the learners, if you're in the classroom, to work in groups or at home, you can work with the child and you're only going to give them one fifth of 15, one sixth of 12 and one tenth of 50. And what I want them to do is, even though they get the answer, I want them to make drawings so we can see this 
in the representative form. So I want you to pause now and do these three questions. So well done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the worksheet activities. So you're going to start then with question number one. Um, question number two. And then we're going to complete the problem solving. Remember with all these, if they need to make diagrams, let them do so. Um, but they let them show all the working on a piece of paper. Then again, we have questions coming from old exam papers um, or tests that you can do. And then for the remediation, for those learners that struggle a bit, here is an idea um, how to support them. You can pause and you can do this. Then we come to the consolidation. Um, so if you got yes on all of them, you carry on with the next lesson. If you tick some no's, you need to revise, revisit, or you need to contact us as a teacher. Mm -hmm.